Germany aids Northern Chad's vulnerable border populations, funded by the German Federal Foreign Office. The International Organization for Migration, or IOM, has launched the 5 million euro bulk security and stabilization project in Northern Chad to assist migrants and host localities and improve border management. Not only will the project directly benefit 4,550 people while helping 150,000 individuals in 50 communities, but it also includes a job and business skills development program for young people. Locals will be informed of the dangers involved in undocumented migration and human trafficking. Officials along the Chad-Libya border will also be trained in various security measures. Germany is a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion and a Shining World Caring Leadership Award Laureate. Many thanks to the International Organization for Migration and the German Federal Foreign Office. In heaven's forever love, may Chad enjoy peace and harmony with ever-increasing prosperity and stability for all her citizens. Global-scale ecosystem revival can save species and remove CO2. A new report in the journal Nature by some 27 scientists from 12 countries recommends restoring key habitats to protect endangered species and remove 49% of the CO2 added to the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution. The proposal calls for a globally coordinated effort with 30% of former ecosystems worldwide that are now farmland, about 9 million square kilometers being converted it back to the original natural state. The paper states these priority areas identified for restoration would greatly aid preserving biodiversity and slowing climate change at the lowest cost to enable habitat renewal, boosting food production, reducing food waste, and eliminating unsustainable products like dairy and meat would also be required. Thank you, participating scientists, for your planet-saving plan. May nations quickly cooperate to bring back nature and halt all animal livestock ra- Los Angeles City Fire Department, or LAFD, in United States, debuts robotic firefighting vehicle. Recently, the Thermite RS3 was successfully deployed to quell a blaze at the Los Angeles building. The remotely controlled robot can spray almost 9,500 liters of water per minute, with the hose stream breaching 45 meters high and 91 meters wide. RS3 will assist with large commercial and fuel tanker fires, wildfires, and other scenarios. The $278,000 US dollars machine was purchased for the LAFD via a generous donation by the Los Angeles Fire Department Foundation. Los Angeles is a Shining World Super Loving Care Leadership Award and Shining World Leadership for Compassion Award laureate. Much appreciation, Los Angeles Fire Department Foundation, for this marvelous gift. And way to go, Los Angeles City Fire Department, for putting your new life-protecting robot into service. May it help ensure people's safety for many years to come, in the grace of the Providence. Environmental Prize Honoring Planet Saving Solutions Unveiled His Royal Highness Prince William of the United Kingdom and famed British natural historian, 94-year-young Sir David Attenborough, have announced the Earth Shot Prize, a new prestigious global environmental award with a £50 million fund. Five prizes of £1 million each will be given annually until 2030 for a total of 50 innovative answers to the Earth's most serious environmental issues. All are eligible for the competition, including people, governments, and corporations. Winners will be recognized for new ideas, policies, technologies, or solutions, which address one of these five areas, protect and restore nature, clean our air, revive our oceans, build a waste-free world, and fix our climate. Our gratitude, Your Royal Highness Prince William and Sir David Attenborough, for your vital leadership in Earth protection. In God's glory, may many wonderful ideas to safeguard our precious planet quickly arise. Indian social worker saves lives with free ambulance service during pandemic. Hong Nao Konyak of Mon in northeastern India's Nagaland state converted his vehicle into an ambulance and transported about 150 people, including 48 pregnant women about to give birth to the hospital. 
the 39-year-old humanitarian received permission from local officials to carry out his life-saving service, which he provided for 100 days until Mon received its first of three ambulances. Mr. Konyak also acted as an interpreter for villagers who spoke dialects of the local language that medical staff did not understand and took blood donors to and from the hospital. The kind man had been given the truck by his father, who requested him to put this gift to good use. We applaud your altruism, Hong Nao Konyak. May your selfless deeds inspire many as we extend a helping hand to those in need in divine mercy. European Union invests in cell cultured meat research. The EU's Horizon 2020 R&D program recently granted 2.7 million euros to lab-grown meat consortium called Meat for All. The group is led by Spanish startup Biotech Foods, creators of the cell-based Ethica Meat, and includes French biotech company Organotechni. Meat for All's mission includes culturing cells without animal serum, mass producing, and commercializing cultured meat, as well as developing food safety tests. The project will advance the EU's implementation of its Green Deal, which has the goal of making the continent carbon neutral by 2050. The European Union is a Shining World Leadership Award for Peace recipient and a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, Unconditional World Care and True Caring Laureate. Exceptional news, European Union, Biotech Foods, and Organotechni for your initiative to spit alternative proteins to the consumer market. May your research lead to successful outcomes with culture Cultivated meat products more widely and quickly available in heaven's joy. Animal Sanctuary Connects Uniquely Able Children and Animals Safe in Austin was founded by Jamie Wallace Greiner and David Greiner of Austin, Texas, United States, after seeing the immensely positive effects of Angel, a service dog, on their autistic son Jackson. The four-hectare property provides a home to their family of five humans and 150 animals rescued from abuse and neglect, including pigs, cows, goats, dogs, cats, tortoises, chickens, and more. Some of the animal friends have health issues or mobility challenges and use custom made wheelchairs. Visitors to the nonprofit, including differently abled children, have the opportunity to interact with the treasured animal friends, often finding solace and inspiration from the loving co inhabitants. You have moved us to tears with the wonderful work you do, safe in Austin. May heaven bless you, your special animal residents, and all those they help, with many joyful years ahead filled with love in God's protecting embrace. 